Hey guys, welcome back to BitGlen, and today I'm going to be talking about the power of ICOs and also what the Bitcoin's doing at the moment. So let's have a little look to see where we're at now. It's actually Tuesday the 21st of November and it's 10 in the morning here in the UK. So Bitcoin actually went up quite a bit yesterday. Um, so I was sort of right in my last video about the rallying of the price. Obviously it got past that $8,000 mark and it sort of went right up to, I think at one point on the news it said $8,300. Um, but for us here in the UK it's about 6200 So uh, that's great news. I think it will hover around there now for a little while. Um, and over the course of the next month and a half, I believe before the end of 2017, it will probably close on around about 7,000 British pounds, which in dollars is 9,000, I believe, or just over 9,000. So um, that's my prediction. That's what I think is going to happen. And maybe it'll take a slump again uh, at January and sort of hover around there for a little while. But um, yeah, good news for Bitcoin owners out there. Um, and the market's uh, still going up. It's mental, really. Uh, keep seeing these gains every day, you know, these percentages that keep going up. Um, another thing I wanted to mention about before we get into ICOs was um, my uh, channel. So I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel so far and uh, commented on any of the videos. Um, there's been really good feedback. I've had a couple of YouTube channels in the past. Um, I've, they're still running actually and I, I've got one sort of vlog in my life and um, another one about gaming and gadgets and uh, yeah they've never gone up as quick as this one has so obviously there's a big demand for people watching bitcoin type videos um, and sort of just general uh, cryptocurrency videos out there so a big thank you to everyone watching this and that subscribed so far I've been getting a lot of uh, tweets and Instagram Facebook messages you can follow me on there at BitGlen, and yeah I've been getting um Good, good conversation, you know, people asking me questions and just saying like, you know, what do you think about this? I've also been getting a few scam people messaging me now, so um, saying, oh, you know, would you like to invest in mining in China? You send us your um, account, your like Bit wallet, and uh, we'll we'll sort it all out for you, which obviously is a scam. Back in the day, you might if you're young enough, you probably won't remember this, but back in the day, you used to get a lot of people from China Messenger or Africa saying, our relative have just recently died and we've traced them back to you somehow. If you give us your bank details, we can transfer this £20,000 in your money, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it was really in depth. You know, they used to put costings and their fee and stuff like that. And people used to, you know, fall for it and give them their bank details and they would just take all your money out. And because it's abroad, there's no way of getting it back. So there's a lot of people, I'm not saying they're like them, but these seem a bit more sophisticated because they're being more personal. They're actually chatting to me saying, oh, hi, Glenn, how are you getting on? How's your day today? Um, oh, I see that um, you know, you're know you doing cryptocurrency. Have you ever thought about doing this, this, and this? And, you're, and I'm thinking, oh, this seems like a really nice guy. And then it's like he's sending me link. I didn't reply back to him. And then he's sending me like four or five different messages, one after the other, like, Glenn, give us your wallet details and we can do to get this started. And da da da. And I'm like, uh, right, I'm going to block this guy now. <laughs> um, so just be careful of that. If you have got any sort of uh, um, cryptocurrency interest and you start following and liking things, just be careful who talks to you and what they're asking for before you actually commit to anything. So um, that's just a little warning out there. Uh, yeah, so thank you to everyone on this channel. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. There should be a little coin or something in this corner, I believe. Uh, you can click on that to subscribe. And um, yeah, let's head over to ICO. So the thing I wanted to talk about today was I actually watched this video last night on YouTube. I found it. I don't, I don't know how I found it, actually. Um, and it was all about us. And it was this guy here. His uh, YouTube channel is Hacking the System. I'm going to send him a message saying I've mentioned him in my video. Um, but he done a really good video. This one is an hour long, 59 minutes long. So I'm not going to reiterate everything he said because one, it would take me an hour, probably more. Two, I'm not going to explain it as well as he did. So, um, you know, I'd rather you watch that and then sort of comment back to me or whatever. But. Um, He'd done a really interesting video all about how ICOs, so ICOs being initial coin offerings, 
have started up and how they compare to IPOs, which is initial public offering, which is what the stocks and shares market have in place of ICOs that have been going for a very long time. But yes, yeah, so I would highly suggest watching that video. And um, he brought up some really good um, tips and advice about it before you invest into ICOs. And one of them being a website called ICO Rating. Now this website actually, before you actually go ahead and invest, you may think, well, I've checked their website out and I've read their white paper or whatever it is that they're offering um, as information. But that's it. That's all you've got to go on, really. You could go even further and try and sort of search the people who work for that company and their Instagram and Twitters and stuff like that. Obviously, that's quite in-depth amount of research. And, you know, there's more that you could look into their previous jobs and what they did there and stuff like that. But this company here, ICO Ratings, have actually gone through and reviewed different ICOs that are coming up. And they're actually rating them on how secure they are, how um, what their investment potential is. So that, like, just for example, this Bitclave, I've never heard of them. Uh, they're saying their hype score is high, their risk is medium, um, their investment potential is high, and they've had a positive review overall, in-depth rating, um, and it's had a positive review. So that's something that you'd give you that little bit more confidence in saying, okay, I, I want to invest in this sort of uh, ICO. Bearing in mind, obviously, whenever you invest in an ICO, only invest what you're willing to lose because any of these, no matter, even if someone says to you, Glenn, this is a guaranteed thing, this is not going to fail, you could still put in your life savings and guess what? It could fail and you could lose all your money. So only invest what you're willing to wake up one day and say, I've lost that, you know, so please tread carefully. But yeah, that's just something to help you out. So I thought that was a really good website, really good tool. Um, they're all, they're all, bleh. There is another one as well called icoalert.com and again they're doing reviews of ICOs and they've actually listed them into three different categories, active ICOs, up and coming ICOs and recent ICOs and you can actually search down um, in order of what date they're releasing their ICO so obviously naturally the one that I've been looking at is Environ, if you've watched my previous videos you'll know that I've been looking at Environ as a a um, ICO that's up and coming on the 1st of December. So obviously, naturally, the first thing I did was go down to 1st of December to try and find Environ to see if they've done a review on that. I thought, please, please, please say they have, so I can have a read. But unfortunately, they haven't yet. So it says here, Environ, off-grid chain mining using renewable energy service, bleh, resources. <laughs> Can't get my words out today. So what I've done is I've actually clicked on their link and I've requested that they do a report on it. So hopefully they'll do a report on it and get it out there before the 1st of December so I can see what their thoughts are. Now something that I did, just a quick mention, um, I did notice when I clicked on one of these uh, reports, it did have a little disclaimer on there. So I clicked that and I sort of read through. So here's one that I found earlier. Bit of Blue Peter there. Here's one I made earlier. So... Um, this is their disclaimer about, you know, we don't endorse them in any way, blah, blah, blah. But one of them did say that they was a paid, not promotion, but a paid uh, re report on ICO. So someone has paid for this website to look into an ICO. I assume then that would be the actual ICO company. They're saying, look, can you look at our one? Because then that looks legit on your website. So Again, be very cautious with your decision making. Just read the information they have available and obviously use that and take it your own way. And it's just another bit of information there. But they are receiving money in some way from, I assume, the ISO company. So I don't know if that makes them a bit more unbiased, depending on how they're paid for. I did actually tweet them today uh, to just say, like, look, I've noticed you've got this disclaimer, um, you know, it, are you rece you're receiving money? Does that mean that your views on the company are unbiased? Would you still say, even though you've received money from them, would you still say, you know, I believe this to be a scam because obviously there's a conflict of interest there. So just be careful with that. But um, let's say that again, more information the better. That's all I say, um, and you can take it on board how you will. Um, 
that was one I was looking into earlier. So this is really uh, interesting actually because there's a load of ICOs here I've never heard of, I don't know nothing about, but I can sit there and have a read. So I'm going to spend probably the next couple of days to a week or so reading through all these different ICOs and looking at ones to invest. Now this brings me on to the meat of my video and why I titled the video the way I did. When I was watching that Hacking the Systems video, he was explaining that with IPOs, to actually invest in a company, so let's say for example Google, Amazon, Facebook or whatever, they go to market and they have an IPO. Apparently not just anyone could initially, um, or sorry, pre-IPO, you can't just initially invest in that company when they're starting out. You need to be a investor that's accredited and earn at least 200,000 a year or have a net worth of a million pounds. So basically you have to be rich. You have to be rich and be an investor and you can invest in these up and coming companies at a very reduced rate. So you know you could buy them for 30 cent a share. So in, a, in British money it's about 20p or something like that. And then what happens is they go to these IPOs and obviously they're a bit more established, they've got prototypes or they've shown you the website or whatever it may be, they're, they're a bit more out there, you know, they're, they're more developed in their stage or even if they're just going straight to market, so they're actually ready to go and everyone says, right, I want to invest in this. But obviously at that point their shares wouldn't be the 30 cent again, it would be, you know, $5 a share or something like that, you know, a couple of dollars a share. Now what that means for that initial investor, the, the person who sort of invested them from the beginning, which fair play to them, they've helped them get there. They've actually helped that process along. So I'm not taking anything away from investors. Um, obviously they have their job, you know, their place in the world um, to help up and coming businesses. I'm not moaning about them in any way. But obviously for someone like me, I haven't got a million pounds. I don't earn 200,000 a year. I wish I did. I'm a dad of five, uh, you know, I have to make sure all the bills and everything covered. I can't then go off and start plowing loads of money into companies I've never heard of, you know. So, you know, they're, doing, they're in, in a position where obviously they worked really hard and they've got there. But how do I get into there? How do I step into that environment? And at, as it stands at the minute, it's very hard to and almost impossible for the general public, the, the average Joe, to actually get involved in this. So... With this ICO, they do an initial coin offering. So you're, they're putting a, a digital currency available on the market, like Environ, they're doing a token system. And you buy tokens. So I receive them tokens. And depending on how many tokens I buy, then that's how much of that company I receive a benefit of um, if their currency goes up. So let's say their token... I'm buying them at 70 cent a share, which in my money is about 50p a share, but then they become more established and they go up in price. Exactly the same as the IPO, but it's giving an opportunity for the people, like the general public, to be a, a part of it. I can be a part of the next, one of these companies here that you can see on the screen, they, one of them may be the next Google, it may be the next Amazon, it could be the next Facebook. And I'm sitting here looking at them thinking, you know, who's United Traders or who's SRG. But I can be a part of it. If I wanted to, I could jump in and just put in 100 quid um, and actually have a stake in, in the development of that company, which I think is really powerful. It's a really powerful tool to have. And... I, I never realised this. I didn't even know this world existed until a couple of days ago when obviously I started looking into ICOs and how they operate. So, you know, I, for me, this it feels like the... And I'm going to get a little bit deep here. This is just my thoughts. Please uh, let me know what you think below. Obviously, we all know about the 1%. The 90, you know, there's the 99% of the world's population... Um, all the wealth of those 99 people are owned by 1% of the population. So I feel like the systems that are in place at the moment, especially in the stocks and shares market and it sort of investments, are all geared towards the rich. Um, the richer get richer, and obviously people like me sort of stay the same. So um, for me, this I always thought, 
and I was talking to my friends and they all sort of laughed at me and that and I said one day some system will come into place or some government will come into place and you see it a lot especially with the Facebook movement where um, countries were all talk, talking to each other especially like sort of um, communist type countries where they could actually communicate to each other and actually say look should we go and march on the capital and try and overthrow the government you know and you saw that a lot uh, with Middle Eastern countries uh, a couple a couple of years ago, I believe. So that was one system in place. You know, the social media have actually changed the world in that respect, especially in those countries. And I always thought, oh, there'll be there'll come a system in place where these ninety nine percent of people will sort of um, be able to combat the one percent, how much money they earn, and how they can get involved. Now, I'm not saying get rid of the one percent and start a civil war, rich against the poor, or anything like that. But, you know, I just, for me, for someone like me, I want a chance to be able to be a part of something and potentially, obviously, yeah, make some money off it. So I'm um, not going to beat around the bush with that. But, you know, it, I feel like this blockchain and this Coinbase system, when they when I first started reading about it and I was saying things like, you know, I, one of the biggest of, uh, attractions to Bitcoin is that it's secretive. No one knows, you know, you're transferring money from one person to another. You don't know who they are. Um, and there's no regulation behind that. The government isn't saying, right, you need to do this. You need to have this degree or you need to be accredited by us before you can buy and sell this. Um, which I thought, uh, you know, why do I need that? You know, I, I'm, I've got nothing tired. So even though I didn't initially uh, find um, an interest for the secrecy, that's going around now I can actually see a benefit from it because someone like me can actually invest in a company like this without any sort of tie downs regulations and that obviously that comes with plus and negatives because obviously that's going to create an atmosphere where people feel like they can get away with whatever they want so you're going to have scammers so god damn those fucking scammers but then on the flip side of that there's all these up and start coming companies that actually I can get involved with and I could potentially have a say in what they I haven't got to be earning the million pounds a year uh, to actually get involved so I feel like I'm actually being a part of the community now and uh, helping these up-and-coming companies start out so I think it's really exciting time and it's really um, it's a great time for people that are watching this video who think do you know what I want to get involved in that you don't need a million pounds you could just invest a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars and you could have a little stake in that next Google or that next Amazon and uh, I just think that's really powerful and it gives the power back to the people you know and I know that sounds really cheesy like something from a film but I honestly believe that that's giving power back to us we have this opportunity now once the government's come in and actually clamped down on this and they change laws and stuff like that and, um, and in place you need to be this you need to be that you can only invest at this time and you know all that starts happening then you'll see you know you always get people come up to you or you talk to them and you say god how did you afford um, your Land Rover or how did you afford that and you say well I started off by doing this business and people always say oh I could do that I could copy you and they always end up saying no nah, that boat sailed now um, the laws have changed the the FCA have gone, come in place or you know it's, it's a lot harder these days so much competition um, and you always think god I wish I'd done it when he'd done it but now's the time. I believe 2017 and 2018 are the times where the general public, the average Joe, can get involved in this. There's currently no regulation or rules about the ICO. So, again, it's a double-edged sword. But the benefits could outweigh the um, the negatives as long as you do all your research and you feel confident in a company before you invest and only invest what you're willing to lose. So... Yeah, that's, that's my view. Let me know what you think. If you feel the same, comment down below. And um, I'd love to hear all your thoughts and, on, on these ICOs and what sort of power they bring to us um, as you know small-time investors and the general public. So, um, yeah, anyway, they're my thoughts. Getting a bit deep there, but that's what I think. So that wraps it up for today about the ICOs. Um, check out these websites if you're thinking of investing. You've got icorating.com and you've also got icoalert.com and have a little read through them and also do your own research as well before you make any investments. My name's Glenn, this has been Bit Glenn and don't forget to subscribe down below, comment, um, like if you are thinking of getting involved in the 
uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Um, a good starting pay place is uh, Coinbase. They're a really uh, reputable company. Uh, or they seem to be <laughs> so far. And if you do join up, you c there is a refer a friend um, uh, link that you can use. I'll put it in the description down below from this video. And you can click on that link and it will take you to this page. But if you sign up and you buy a hundred pound or hundred dollars worth, sorry, of Bitcoin, um, then I receive ten dollars worth of it, and you also receive ten dollars for free on top of your hundred pound as well. So that's a great starting place for anyone who's thinking of joining Coinbase. So that's enough from me, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See you later, guys. Bye.